Hey guys, welcome to Brick Hub. Today, I'm gonna review the Lego Star Wars Darth Vader Meditation Chamber. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below to let me know what you think, and subscribe to this channel hitting that notification bell. Also, check out our Instagram page. So first things first, this is the LEGO Star Wars Darth Vader Meditation Chamber. It is rated ages 18 plus, set number 75296, and has 663 pieces. It currently retails in the United States for around $70. Turning the box around to the back, on the left side you have another angle of the model, and on the right side you have the shots of the iconic scenes from Empire Strikes Back. So this is the finished meditation chamber, and honestly it's a pretty symmetrical build. And there really isn't too much to show at these angles, but let's remove the minifigures and take a closer look. So with the Darth Vader minifigure removed, I'm gonna just give you guys a better view of the inside of his meditation chamber. This portion spins around so he can face the screen where uh, basically G General Veers gets his promotion and the other, I believe he was an admiral, gets choked out using the force. One thing I don't like about this design is this space is pretty inaccessible it, it like even when it's all the way open you really kind of have to finagle in there to get a Darth Vader minifigure to sit on that and if you do lift it up then you got to do everything with one hand this is just I don't know I wish they would have used a different mechanism so just to give you guys a better idea of what's going on here there's this Technic uh, piece here with these holes and that's where this ball joint kind of just balances on and it moves up and down and it just it's just barely held on and it's using gravity like basically gravity is forcing this thing down and forcing the ball into the hole I'm not sure this was the best way to do it but this is ultimately what Lego chose turning the model around to the back you get a look at Basically just nothingness, but there is this one clip for the lightsaber. I wish they wouldn't have broken up the design with this clip. I think a smooth black with the silver 1x2 tiling would have been much better, but it is what it is. And as far as these steps go, I do like the way they're detailed. It might be kind of hard to see, but they use these bracket pieces over here, or, uh, I, I, or maybe panel pieces, but it... It gives a little bit of texture, and I'm not exactly sure what this stud up here is supposed to be for, but I would guess that it's for maybe General Veers to stand on while Darth Vader is seated in there. Underneath the top of the chamber, there's this wheel piece. I'm really not sure why that's there. I would have preferred for them to put something like a clip to hold on to Darth Vader's helmet or something like that um, kind of a weird choice though now for one part of the set that I really really appreciate is this screen now the way it was achieved was they put the uh, a sticker over this black panel here and then it's it's a door panel and then they put another door panel in the front with a light translucent blue and it kind of gives it a hologram style of look I think this is probably my favorite part of this set now, this is the same Darth Vader that was released in the the final duel set where Darth Vader is fighting Luke in episode 6. It has the printed arms and the old style of starchy cape. Underneath his helmet, he has the white head with the scarring on the back. And this is General Veers. Honestly, there's really nothing too special about him. In fact, I don't think there's anything exclusive about him other than maybe his face. I really wish they would have maybe gone another direction with this character. Maybe I I really don't know. I I mean I don't I really didn't think we needed another General Veers, but that's what Lego gave us. So overall, I think this set is a little bit lacking. Honestly, I I mean just all the things that I would have wanted, they just just didn't really achieve in my opinion. Maybe maybe if this set was like thirty dollars cheaper, I would excuse all of those things, but. Even with the box and the instructions and the, just the artwork and everything, it was very, it's so, it felt like it was supposed to be a very premium product. I mean, look at this. Like, if you take this thing down, it it really does not seal well. It, it doesn't look good at all. And so you kind of have to leave it in this open uh, design or form for it to look 
even half decent and the as far as the Darth Vader minifigure goes I, I feel like even though this is the cheapest way currently to get a Darth Vader with sidearm printing I, I feel like we're probably gonna continue to get sidearm printed Darth Vader so if, if that's why you want this set I honestly would pass on it the general veers also not that impressive I really do like the hologram screen, but that's just one small bit of a larger set. The base, I think, is probably a little bit too beefy. Didn't I mean, honestly, if they just took out the base, they, they probably could have saved fans a lot of money. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to this channel, hitting that notification bell. Thanks, guys. Bye.